And we are loaded into the rift. At least, it looks like it. It does look like it. Nothing. There we go. Is the time at uh, 10 seconds, 11, 12? Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. perfect. And we're off. So Concordia playing from the red side. We have Thorpe on Lucian, Scient Reaper as a support on Leona, Puzzled on Ari, PDE on Pantheon Jungle, and Malphite top lane played by Ingangs We Trust. And on the blue side, we have Harvard University with Hot Curry in a Hurry on Vi, Andy2129 on Ezreal, Amazing Shrooms on Nar, Arx and. Oh. <laughs> oh. Seems like Nar's getting and ganked. Concord is already at finding a. Yep. Good uh, lantern by uh, Thresh. As I was saying. RxN Prolific on Jinx and South Korea on that Thresh. So both teams at the moment uh, warding up early on, trying to find where uh, the other team is. Possible invades doesn't look like it this time. No, probably since that engage, they're just gonna keep it simple. Especially Concordia, since uh, they lost game one, they are probably going to be playing it a lot safer this game round. But the good news is they do have their ADC this time round, so we should be seeing a much stronger uh, overall bot lane. Interesting to see what's gonna happen with the exhaust disadvantage bot lane and the flash disadvantage top lane. Nar no flash, Leona no exhaust. And uh, Concordia already playing very aggressive in the bot lane, really focusing hard on the Jinx. Yeah, it's a good, good word being put in. by the Thresh. The Le Leona Lucian is a very strong lane, especially because uh, Lucian can really dash to close the gap once uh, yeah. Leona goes in. CS-wise, it looks uh, pretty even. Israel is having a small advantage in mid lane, but Lucian is having a small advantage for himself uh, in the bot lane, but nothing big at the moment. Should be a basic game. Oh, Nar just turned into Mega Nar right now. a bit of damage and here comes Pantheon. Here comes Pantheon gank, are they going to be able to get him? Yes yep. they do, and uh, in gank we trust barely survives on that Malphite. That was a very good gank. 1-0 for Concordia. 3 minutes, 40 seconds in, and they are about 700 gold up, which is very pretty considerable early on. It's mostly thanks to the first split. Yeah. Both mid lane and bot lane of Harvard seem to be also be playing a lot safer this time around. I mean, they have pretty safe lanes with Ezreal Thresh. Thresh hook Lucian. Flash Return on the damage. Jinx. And Lucian backs away. Oh, oh Lucian and flash in. Flash. Turret shot. And Jinx flashes and gets the kill. That's gonna be a double kill for Jinx. Very questionable engage, and there's a double kill for the... Oh no, Thresh picks up the other kill. Nice KS by Thresh. Well, 
well, you know, kid, kid, <laughs> secure. Kill secure. Secure it for its team. It's also pretty good to uh, usually get a kill early on on the support because it rushes an item. Uh, yeah, the site. Usually the sight stone or uh, improving your uh, gold generating item. Yeah. It's not a bad idea. So that puts Harvard right back into the lead for uh, the gold. They are at about 500, close to 600 uh, gold advantage. Yeah. That, that would have worked out for Concordia if um, ADC didn't Had they gotten a return kill, it would have actually been uh, very good. Oh. Yank oh. in the middle, forcing the Ezreal to flash, and actually killing the Ezreal by flashing to get Ari as she can to get it. Oh! oh nice Pantheon. Very good. Pantheon gets the kill on Vi. Crazy plays in the mid lane. This game looks to be a lot closer than the previous game. Nothing much happening top lane. Seems that Malphite's losing a lot of HP, but he'll be fine. Bot lane seems to just go. Even at the moment, uh, Jinx is 250 gold ahead. Um, Thresh is about 500 gold ahead thanks to that kill. Yeah. But otherwise, it's a very even lane. I mean, once once Concordia hits six on the bot lane, they have a lot of damage and a lot of lockdown with that play on all. Especially also with uh, the Malphite ult and the Pantheon ult. Those will actually be very strong engages. Yeah. I'm actually interested to see where Pantheon's gonna go first with that all. Well, we have to also look at the CS mid. Uh, Ari's down about 10 CS. Does have that kill Pantheon's uh, dropping in, and they're on to Jinx. Oh, takes the lantern, but that's not enough. Still dies. Very good ulti by Pantheon. Yeah. Are they gonna go for the dragon? They could with that Pantheon. And I would call it Grand Skyfall, but I forget what uh, spells are called. <laughs> I'm very sorry to all those who are actually listening. Also, if you could please pass a message that we are streaming to all your Concordia friends, it would actually be really good to cheer for the team. Oh, Leona Lots should... happening everywhere. Concordia picks up the dragon. Alright, is it fighting? Are they... Yep, they get by. So that was a dragon for... Uh... Dragon and a kill for a, a kill. Which is very good for uh, Concordia. Yep. Free drag, free drag. It's just so easy to pull off the new dragon with Pantheon blocking all that damage. Actually hoping Pantheon uh, Malphite doesn't die right now. I think you might. Yep. It was a bit greedy staying in lane with like a hundred HP. So uh, we're going to have our another caster who is going to be uh, Primal Phoenix. He is going to be uh, helping us out. He is just going to get into game and uh, follow. Us. So it's going to be a three-way cast. So I get to focus more on the camera. And Thresh hooks Leona, but nothing comes out of it. Oh, Leona goes in. Ooh, taking a lot turret, of turret taking damage. Taking a lot of turret damage. That really wasn't worth going in. The Vi comes down now. We get a kill on her. They didn't see the ward mid. Ezreal knows what's happening. 
Lucian really going deep onto Jinx, but decides not to kill her off. Playing it safe. Top lane seems to be uh, pretty even. And Leona goes in, takes the Jinx. Super Mega Death Rocket dies. Vi moves out. Pantheon splashes, gets the uh, very nice splash and heal. Oh, three for one in the bot lane. And Malphite gets the kill on Nar in the top lane. Really strong play by uh, Concordia. They are really pushing their advantages now. They have 2,200 gold and it's four kills. A lot more. Make that 3,000. Phoenix, can you hear me? <clears throat> yes, I can. I actually just got in. That's good Hello, to know. everybody. Welcome. Ooh, nice charm. And the Pantheon ulti, and well, not really needed, but they get the Ezreal kill. Overall, a much stronger display from all the lanes. Yeah. Seems Pantheon's gonna go ahead and tank up that turret shot, help Leona escape. Just perfect timing. Thresh gonna flash oh. in and go ahead and secure that kill. Very nicely done. Meanwhile, top lane, as you can expect, is just a wet noodle fight between two superpowers, Meganar and Malphite. The giant robot versus the prehistoric animal. Can make a movie out of that. <laughs> Lucian just gonna go ahead and push down bot lane. Meanwhile, mid lane, they're gonna go ahead and try to push in on this mid turret and maybe get it down. Top lane just getting some harass off. Lucian coming mid. Should spot that pink. Some, uh. Very strong warding from uh from Seems Korea like they're gonna go ahead and ping. Tron oh, landing on Trauma. Jinx going in and that was very nicely done. Vi gonna go ahead and go in on Arya. Are oh, they really out of position at the moment? Mm. Are they actually going to be able to close in on her? I don't think so. And we have pause. a pause. Well, in top lane, um, Amazing Shrooms from uh, Harvard is getting absolutely demolished by uh, the Malphites. Yeah, he's about to die. It seems Jinx was DC. And the game starts again. Nar saving himself by turning into Mega Nar. Oh, Are you Puzzle on Ari catching out a, a Thresh. Taking a lot of damage. And Lucian closing in, trying to do his part of the damage. And the camera switches right off the bat to somewhere else in top lane. Yep, back so to the top lane. Pantheon is coming from every angle. <laughs> oh, <the> Super <laughs> Mega Death, Death Rocket! Rocket. Ooh, very Ooh. close. Looks like Concordia gonna go ahead and push in this mid gonna get it. Meanwhile, Ezreal went back and bought, got his mirror mana. Hopefully, he gets that stacked up and get that damage spike. He's at 349 or 750. That's gonna take him about another probably 10 minutes to 15 minutes to stack up, depending on how much he spams out. So, gonna get a bit later of a spike. Not looking too good. And Concordia is now 4,300 gold ahead. It's very good by the. 14 minute mark, and Harvard is pushing out mid lane. Beautiful getting solar, flare. By the solar flare of Leona. Lucia coming from the side, getting Jinx. Two for zero, Concordia. And they Very are in position to pick up the gear. Just respawned. Yeah. I'm actually surprised that uh, Ezreal is going AD. They're going to be lacking some magic damage. 
That's a very nice point. They're actually all physical damage. They can just go ahead and stack up a lot of armor. Doesn't look too good for Harvard. Hmm. Uh, but Ezreal is a lot of mixed damage, you have to remember, with the Muramana and, um, well, when he has that the is Muramana, true. and oh, if he bought the Trinity Force. That's true. And Mar Nar does have his uh, W passive on Mini Nar to do a little bit of magic damage, but still don't think it's going to be enough. Concordia looking really strong right now. So let's look at the gold. We have Malphite ahead by 600 gold in top lane. And, uh, well, for the solo laners, we also have Ari up 800 gold, even though uh, Puzzle is down 200 CS. I mean, look at the look at No, I'm completely missing his ult. That is not, not good. Try to go in. Maybe next time. It's on a pretty short cooldown. Look at the jungle difference of gold. Pantheon has 6,000, Vi at 3,800. That is enormously different. It's also good to point out that Pantheon has over half his, well, un just under half uh, his team's uh, kills. His kills, yeah. And he's doing in 10 of... Uh, Ooh, three flashes being burned. That's, that's also not. Ezra and Ari going in on each other. Looks like Ari's gonna go ahead and take that dash over the wall, make sure she's nice and safe. Very well played. Before you're gonna go ahead and go in, leading up by Leona. Seems Vi is gonna go ahead and ulti in on Pantheon. She's gonna go ahead and pick up that kill. Maybe she can get out, grab the lantern, and hopefully escape. Meanwhile, bot lane Lucian pushing the tower. Ooh, no, nope. gonna go ahead and flash Q, land. Hits it. Let's see if Leona can pick up that kill. Looks like yes, she can, and. Looks like it's going to be a two for two. And Concordia, Lucian down at bot lane, going to go ahead and ulti the wave and keep on pushing. Oh, Andy, 29. <laughs> Looks like he's going to take a lot of punishment. Both flashes traded and the turret. Ooh, the heal. No. Heal. Too strong. Jinx looks like she's there. Looks like she's gonna pick this up. Gonna be kind of... Oh! Oh, the crit's coming out. The RNG. RNG. Very well needed kill. Gonna go ahead and get her a couple bits of gold. Looks like she can now afford that Infinity Edge. Big boost. Or looks like he's gonna go ahead and chase down this Leona. Probably not gonna get her, but definitely gonna go ahead and force it back. All right, looks like she's gonna come on down here, see if she can pick up Jinx. Good night. Good midnight, Ari. <laughs> <laughs> it just felt beautiful. tons of damage. Simply beautiful. Oh, looks like he's pushing him off that turret. Maybe a little bit too much of a dive. Oh, freak. When did you drink? <laughs> <laughs> Vi landing a nice Q. Pantheon had just base, so pretty inopportune. Here comes the owner with a great solo fair. Gonna lock down Nar. Looks like they're gonna pick that up. Uh, I think... Yep, Vi is gonna go ahead and go down. Just too much armor on that Malphite. What is he at right now? Four. Let's see, 248. That is quite a bit of armor. Yep, Harvard's gonna have a real problem with this Malphite stacking all this armor. Especially with this W, we're gonna go ahead and press that and get quite a bit of AD. Looks like Pantheon's gonna go ahead and drop down. Malphite gonna take that kill. And you see what Thresh did there. He faked the lantern to try and get them to back off. Did not work. 
Good attempt though, good attempt. Ari landing a great charm and... I am sorry if the stream is getting a bit choppy, it's uh... For some reason we are dropping down to 12 FPS. It looks like it's pretty tame game right now. 10k gold lead at 19 minutes. Uh, it's looking grim for Harvard. Four turrets to zero. Leona gonna go ahead and go in. Oh, missing the solo flare. Nar with a great ultimate backwards. See if he could catch someone. No. Looks like just gonna peel him off the turret a little bit. I mean, you can just see how ahead they are. Leona is so confident just going in, doing whatever she wants. Absolutely, and a great charm landing, and Vi's gonna get taken out. Looks like they're gonna go ahead and go in on this team fight. Malphite using his ult doesn't have enough mana. Nar's gonna get taken down by Ari's true damage. Malphite getting hooked in, might get taken down this turret. No, he won't! And look at this, this is a 4v5 the entire time. Lucian just picking up towers. Lucian just pushing it down mid, that is absolutely right. 9 to 27, gold lead is at about 11,000. About to be 12,000. Pantheon, I'm gonna go ahead and take up the dragon. Vi, ulting in on Lucian. Well, look at that. Probably damage. gonna be able to pick this up, but Lucian, gonna oh. fight it out. Let's see if Thresh can get the hook. Oh, he oh. gets the flash flay for Jinx ult. Very nicely done. But meanwhile, they picked up the damage, getting that 5% move speed on the entire team. It's gonna help. I am mm. sorry guys, I would really want to uh, reload this, but uh, I have uh, no uh, want to actually restart the game, otherwise you guys are going to be hearing them casting and not seeing. Oh, it'll be like a radio talk show. I don't know what you're talking about. It'll be beautiful. Exactly. They do that all the time in sports. They do that all the time in sports. Arya's gonna go ahead on in, missing the charm on the minions, those pesky little minions. She's still gonna go in and do a bunch of damage to Ezreal. Oh, goodness. Barely gonna get out. The amount uh, I go in. Half I go in, gonna go ahead and pick up the go, Pantheon coming in, grabbing the Ezreal. Looks like it's they're gonna, gonna go ahead and secure these sweet. last couple of kills. Jinx not gonna get away. That Malphite just has too much armor, can tank up that turret for days. Jeez, weeks even. Smite. <laughs> Smite. Smite coming in a little bit of handy. Looks like they're gonna go ahead and take down this turret, probably get an inhib. This is looking like GG. Looking pretty grim for Harvard. It's so like they're gonna go ahead and back out, clear out any of the jungle that they can find, and just go ahead and base, buy up some items, and then go ahead and push some of their side lanes. Malphite gonna make sure those minions don't collide with that turret, possibly take it down. Jinx, Super Mega Death Rocket going in, gonna hit Pantheon, but not have enough damage. I want to go in on this, but... I would like to point out the scores as well. Pantheon is 10-1-8, and, and Ari is 9-0-3. Definitely doing their jobs. Are the Pantheon really doing a great job of uh, snowballing his uh, lanes with very good ganks throughout the game. Might have to be a ban for the Harvard for the next game. Oh, yeah. and the static shiv proc with a crit. Gonna go ahead and take out Jinx with the calling on top. Let's see. Did Lucian base? I did not see you. Did y'all know? Uh, no, I don't think he did. If he did, he only picked up CD boots. Uh, no, it looks like he didn't. He has 1,400 gold on him. Looks like he's trying to save up for a BF sword. Probably gonna go get the Scuttle Crab along with the new Gromp, which was previously the White Camp, and then the Wolves. Get him that extra is Ezreal is not going with the Trinity Force after his uh, mana immune. He is actually going towards the uh, opposing. Oh. Ooh, gonna go ahead and cut you off real quick <laughs> as they caught out by Malphite. Gonna go ahead and ult in under turret. Looks like they're gonna tower dive and get out 
nice and well. Malphite just tanking up that turret. I Very mean, like, Concordia, double kill. Concordia just looking like an unstoppable force without Malphite. Oh lord, Pantheon <laughs> jumping in! The unstoppable <laughs> force. Looks I like just, he's just I... gonna throw a Q and walk away. There it is. The year of PVE, doom. the 12, 1, and 10. Pantheon looks like they're gonna go ahead and take down these Nexus turrets. Harvard, Nar, and Thresh are gonna be up and a right now. Looks like they're gonna make their final hold. Hopefully they can hold this turret off. Concordia just tanking it, facing the mountain, going on. Laser beam proving to be a little bit more damage than they thought. Looks like Nars going in a little bit too far, trying to secure those kills, but looking like it was a little bit too little, too late. Officer Vi can't do anything from the drive by by <laughs> <laughs> Looks like the that's, GGs have played out. That's a very <laughs> Peanut, but I don't miss. Gonna yeah. go ahead and grab that super mega death rocket coming out missing. Not she letting the thrust being called. Gonna chat. go ahead and take out the next turrets and looks like it's gonna be game. No! Lucian gets executed. Oh, it's super mega oh, straw. And Vi goes down. Nick looks like they don't want to finish the game. The greed is real. There we go. GG. <laughs> We're going to game three, you guys. Good game, Concordia University.